Hi Capricorns, welcome in today you guys. Thank you for viewing me today. Welcome in. I am doing your general reading. The world with patience has flown out. Interesting Capricorns. Current energies I am looking at. If it sounds like something you are feeling or what you are going through, this is your reading. My name is Elena and this is good for all placements for the beautiful sign of Capricorns. Okay, you guys. Um, before I even begin, I just want to say something to all of you. First of all, thank you for your love and support. Second of all, I want you to take everything in stride right now. And meaning that there are certain situations coming at you because of what I felt by the cards that I received. And this is what I do. I go by how I feel in the cards that you need to take things in stride. Meaning don't take things so personally. I understand there's something you're going through right now teaching you a lot of stuff about yourself. A lot of chapters are coming to full circles. Only so new ones can begin. I have the magician in the mirror. I have optimism, the sun, illumination. I have the door to what's most important to you. And you're on a journey crossing a bridge and the card of appreciation. Uh, the journey card is telling me that you're in a place right now, Capricorns, of... I'm just going to say what I feel. If you guys have been viewing me, you know I'm a straight shooter. That you're right in the middle of something right now. <clears throat> and that your own optimism is what's going to get you through. To learn to take things in stride and not so personally if you're going through certain situations in your life that you're looking for the clarity on. Realize that whatever you're going through in life right now is teaching you something about yourself. And that there's a part of your life that has been coming full circle and there's a chapter that's about to close. Your crown chakra. Big chakra. But right now, this is you being open to something with gratitude and understanding that you're receiving a lot of information right now and showing you something about your own inner beauty, your own inner love, and the door to your personal healing and happiness, your heart in a cage, and the angel of love to the garden and the gate. Uh, you guys, a big lesson going on around you right now, Capricorns, about learning to heal yourself through something. I feel that whatever you're going through in life, you have been shown a new direction and there's certain situations that you need to leave. And the walking away is telling me that there's a gate open with the sun before you, but your own optimism, optimism, meaning we can always look at things that we've been through that have taken a part of us away. It was a struggle, it was, it was hard. But I feel that right now, this is your reading, you're looking back at certain situations and this is the garden and the gate. Another gate door is open. Telling me that your own outlook on life is what's going to get you through to the other side of somewhere of a lot of happiness and a lot of healing. That something new around you is beginning to close an old chapter out that you've been through and realize that it taught you a lot about yourself, your own perseverance, and to take everything in stride right now because you're being led somewhere new. Spirit guides, current energies for my beautiful Capricorns. What would you like to show me? Thank you. Current for the sign of Capricorn. This reading is for strongest energies around the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Underneath the deck is the sun. And then I have the card of financial constraints. Now, to me, it's just constraints. But you see, the sun is here, and I feel spirit guides are trying to relay a message for me to tell you that your own optimism is going to get you through something right now. Uh, the cupboard door that's open has some cobwebs in it. An old book. Some things that you've been through that perhaps are still a part of yourself that you're reflecting on that it's now time to close so this new door can open because the new door is just dying to open. I have the magician in the mirror. Everything that you perceive to be will be. And it's time for you to shift your viewpoint on something. It's time for you to look at things in a new way, the thinking man. I feel spirit guides are trying to relate a message to tell me to tell you that your own perspective and your own optimism is going to open many new doors around you. That there's something you've been through that you really had to tap into some inner strength with, I feel, and realize that there's a part of yourself that it's an old energy 
that you can now close that door. Like you, I feel you've been through something that you had to do a lot of spiritual growth with. All right, let's go ahead and look. Uh, these are your cards, you guys. The first card on my left is Storm Warning, the Heart in the Cage, and your Cornucopia, which is your dreams, your wishes, your desires. Storm Warning telling me that there's a part of your life right now teaching you that it's time for you to unleash your heart that you perhaps have been protecting. Now, you know, we can get hurt and things hurt us and the, the, the storm warning card is telling me that things blow through our life to clear a new path, to teach us that there's things that we've been through, to teach us something about our own inner love, our own inner way we want love. And I feel spirit guides are telling me that you're, you're starting to see something in a new way, Capricorns. You are my moon. And that what you perceive to be will be. That right now is a time of illumination and optimism and stop looking at something that it's not serving you anymore. It's old clutter. It's something you've been through that had to teach you about a bigger part of yourself. I have the card journey. I have the garden and the gate and teaching you about yourself, the thinking woman. And there is the butterfly of transformation. My cards are given to me and put it in the order I must take them. I feel that right now you've been looking at a lot of things that you've been through and it's transformed you and your outlook on things in life. I feel that spirit guides are trying to relay a message to me that the way to get past a situation in your life is to be open to everything with a new energy of anything is possible with more optimism. That your garden is before you and right now it's about crossing the bridge. There's street signs here that are illuminated but this is a part of your journey telling me that if there's a part of your life that you feel stalled out in, spirit guides are telling me all you have to do is envision the life that you truly want. All we have to do is envision how we want things to play out. It's going to put everything into fruition. That there's some Capricorns here that have been going through something that you're still going through some old clutter. That that chapter of your life is closed because a new door is now opening. That it's time to unleash a part of your heart that perhaps you don't want to because you've been hurt or you've been disappointed. But in order to clear a new path and go down a new journey, there's a new part of yourself that's dying to be awoken with your heart. And I feel spirit guides are telling me everything is here for you to create the life that you want. How you perceive things is how it's going to be. That everything is trying to push you somewhere in bigger, better Capricorns, bigger, better, and even faster. But your viewpoint is transforming. And then I have it with the thinking man. You have the thinking man and the thinking woman. That your whole outlook in life is teaching you something about your journey and showing you that all your signs are there for new illumination. All your signs are there to help you get the things in life that you truly want. You guys, life is hard, but life is, can be a beautiful journey, meaning that we can always dwell on what went wrong and we can always look at the negative aspects of life. But if we don't change our own energy, we will not start to come into the circle of a higher frequency to attract more abundance in our life. I feel spirit guides are telling me there's something you need to leave behind and realize that that chapter is closed because it's pushing you somewhere bigger and better. And remember, the sun and optimism is going to get you through that gate. Life is wonderful. Thriving through the power of positive thinking and everything will flow in your direction. All right. Okay, I'm going to uh, leave it there because if it sounds like something you're going through, you've been kind of dwelling on something that now they're cobwebs and now it's time to close that part of your life and keep your eyes into the sun and look out before you with what you want. It's going to come into fruition even faster. A new path has definitely been cleared. You had a lot of wake-up calls, a lot of things that you've been through, but it's now a time to put it behind you. All right, let's look at your recent past just a little bit. I'm going to do the rider weight. I have strength and courage. I'm going to just take a few and let the cards play out and talk to you. The recent past is about our own spiritual growth and insight, strength and courage, releasing yourself from burdensome situation. New gateways were always open. A part of yourself that you had to learn to give more with your heart, Capricorns, and let go of resentment from things that have hurt you with your heart, making choices, and what were you going to invest in next? Victory was always around you, Capricorns, but you had to learn that just because something wasn't given to you in the way you wanted it doesn't mean that we should never close our heart off. Meaning, you know, we all get hurt. Who hasn't? 
we've all been disappointed, whether it's lovers, friendships, family members, but this whole life is about being true to thyself and with the heart of forgiveness. Yeah, I, just, I live it, I preach it. I don't, I don't hold grudges and I understand that whatever's been done wrong to me, the universe will handle it in its own divine timing. I focus on my own love and my own happiness and I try to spread it every day. Spirit guides, recent past, it took a lot of strength and courage for whatever you've been through, but you shut a part of your heart down, I feel. Spirit guides, recent past for Capricorns, a little bit, what do I need to see? Okay. A few messages. Recent past. Thank you. Anything else? Who is that? The Ace of Swords is sideways, Ace of Cups is sideways, and underneath the deck is the beautiful Queen of Love. You know, the Queen of Love knows no boundaries with the heart. Oh, pardon me. The King of Pentacles is sideways. Whew. Always felt that no matter what you did, your clarity was never there. The moon. And the moon is telling me that there are certain situations that you've been through that dragged you down an emotional place. I call it the emotional junkyard. I've been there and we all need help out. But you also had to change your perspective on the things that you've been through, realizing that disappointment comes and disappointment needs to go. That there's something you had to learn to tap into an inner love, an inner forgiveness, and be open to something bigger and better with your heart. That everything that you have is all about using your resources wisely. The king of earth is a very methodical king about its own stability and getting what it wants with its financial needs. But you couldn't attract certain situations in your life until you learn to forgive things with your heart and being open to things with your heart. The moon, okay, strength and courage, wounded energy, and there's the sun. I feel spirit guides are telling me that there was something recently behind you you've been through that taught you about your own fears and facing them, but you had to do it with more optimism. You had the strength and courage to change your perspective on certain situations in your life, but you had the key in your hands all along and it was about forgiveness with the heart. You guys, everybody has karmic debt. No matter what somebody does to us or how we feel somebody did us wrong or what whatever happened to us, we have to know that there was something to teach us about our own strength and courage and that it's now a time to let go and realize that the universe will handle it in due time and that you are a bigger and better person from it and there's a lot of energy around you for shifting your viewpoint for transformation and closing an old cupboard door to welcome in the new nine of swords a lot of nighttime friction I have what has been right, what has been wrong, and then I have the Wheel of Fortune coming into your current energies. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is actually ruled by Jupiter, but it's also ruled with the universe, meaning that Jupiter and the universe work hand in hand. I'm not just a tarot reader. It goes a little bit deeper. But you see, the Wheel of Fortune is telling me that there's things in your life right now, Capricorns, that are aligning for you for massive, abundant change. Luck and right timing. But until we learn to raise our own frequency and vibration to a bigger energy of love, the wheel will stay stalled out. That there's things in your life right now that are teaching you it's time to close an old cupboard door. It, it just, it, you've been through a lot. It taught you a lot about yourself. A new door wants to open. What has been right? What has been wrong? A lot of replaying certain situations in your life that you felt were out of whack. Why me? Why does this keep happening to me? To teach you that you have the power to break all barriers for new opportunities with your heart. That the Ace of Swords is huge, you guys. This is the Ace that doesn't bend, but it's about seeing something with a truth, seeing something with a clarity. And the Spirit Guides are saying that you had all new beginnings behind you. You just had to see something in a new way, and it was with the heart. That everything that you've been through taught you something about your own defense mechanism and your own strength. And I feel Spirit Guides are telling me, right now, take everything in stride. Stay in an energy of optimism and watch how the gates open before you for more things of abundance and happiness. Okay, let's look at what's coming in for you. I know that was a little heavy. The readings have been a little heavy lately. Now, I can't help that. What nourishes our garden, you guys? You think about it. Love is water. Optimism is sun. All right. Let's look at what's coming in for you now because we are rolling into a Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius season. We're going into the shadow phase right now. 
And I feel spirit guides are telling me the best way to get through something in life is positive movement forward. Keep thriving through the power of your positive thinking. It's going to make things move even faster in your life. I have your heart chakra. I don't know who's under these decks. Material harvest and spiritual union. Connecting with your higher self to your fulfillment of wishes. I'm going to shuffle. I'll let them all fly out. Feel spirit guides are telling me that you have the key in your hands to harvest whatever you want, but it starts with your heart space. You guys, I'm going to say something that love is truly the greatest teacher of all. And that we have to learn to forgive and be open to everything with our heart. We attract so much more in life. Spirit guides, strongest incoming. In a week to two weeks for energies, messages. What would you like to show me for Capricorns? Thank you. Strongest. Next few weeks. Okay. For the sign of Capricorn. Anything else? Strongest. Energies. I'm sorry. I got a heart catcher and it just sits here. Material and spiritual prosperity. And this is what I'm here to say to you. In the next week to two weeks, because my energies just trickle in. Your own optimism is going to get you through anything in life because there's two fountains of emotion and you're between them. But in how you balance emotion with optimism is really up to you because everything is here for your own prosperity. The universe is working with you, Capricorn, is telling me that there's a higher force at play here. You know, the universe always works with us, even though it may not feel like it at times. That the only way to get through certain situations in life is about being true to thyself. And I feel spirit guides are saying there's choices to make in the next few weeks. Movement choices and decisions. We all have free will. But there's an energy around you to claim your personal power and stand your ground about what you want in life. Everything starts with our base chakra. And this is what keeps everything in alignment. And this is earth energy about keeping our feet on the ground. Knowing that if we stay in this energy of just focused energy of rerouting ourselves, holding on to our own spiritual strength, things will guide us through to a new direction. Okay, here we go. Here's your cards. First card to my left is partnerships and alliances. I have recognition and reward. And then I have the shadow side and I'll take one more. Positive movement forward. Your own optimism is going to get your boat even further faster. That everything in the next few weeks is really in your own control. We can always dwell on the negative. We can sit here, we're conditioned in this life to always think negatively. But in all reality, this whole universe is ruled by energy. You guys, I started watching, it came up on my feed twice and I finally watched it. It was called The Shaman Oaks. And it was about people speaking about their afterlife death experience and what they saw and what they heard and it was all about being true to thyself and what they seen that we all have karmic debts to pay we all have things we have to go through to teach us something about our inner shadow side our inner work but your own optimism is going to get you sailing further faster in the next few weeks partnerships and alliances and recognition and reward I feel spirit guides are trying to tell me in the next few weeks, everything wants to come together for you in the right way for all the things that you truly want for recognition and reward. But it's in how you go after certain situations and how you leave certain energies behind. Rejoice, celebration, good times, your intuition, and take everything in stride, patience. I feel I'm here to say to you in the next few weeks, everything is actually moving you in a beautiful new direction. Now let's talk about intuition. Because a lot of people think that intuition is just like the psychic knowing. Intuition is actually a silent knowing that we all have. That we must learn to trust. We will know when to go. We will know when to stop. But we doubt it a lot. We doubt it because we think we have to go ever after everything so fast or everything has to come together fast. But spirit guides are saying, hold on to your own spiritual strength. Trust your intuition. Everything wants to come together for you with the tree of love and life. To really understand that our own shadow side of the things that we've been through has taught us something about a negative aspect to bring us back into the positive. 
that your own positive energy, your own patience, and keeping yourself rooted into the earth is what's going to attract things of bigger and better into your life. I feel the universe is telling me, well, the choice is yours. You can go towards things with emotion or you can go towards things with more optimism and emotion, learning to imbalance your own fountains of love. I feel spirit guides want me to say to you, everything is here for the things that you truly want in life, Capricorns. It's in how you connect with it in your own heart space, in your own thoughts. Woo, that was heavy. Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna get some spirit guide messages, you guys. That was beautiful. There's a lot of messages in there for you. And I'll be honest with you, with what I saw, I knew I was going to see this card. You are the driver of your vehicle. So where do you want your vehicle to go? Your physical vehicle. Power of the sun is going to take you places further faster because everything around you right now, Capricorns, is a new gate is here for much abundance and happiness with your own optimism. Okay, I'm ready for some spirit guide messages now. I'm going to go right here. I'll take one or two under the deck. What you're receiving, Six of Pentacles is a card of you're about to receive. Be open to it with a beautiful divine love because the Queen of Cups knows nothing but pure love of openness, forgiveness. There's something you need to move forward with and it's in how you look at it and shift your viewpoint. The Page of Swords is the new thinker, a fresh outlook, a new way of looking at something with a lot of strength and courage. Emotional disappointments is now a time to leave. Oh, how can we get to our nine of cups, our happiness, our wish fulfillment if we don't leave our old emotional attachments, that things that didn't go right? It taught you something about your own strength. It taught you something about your own optimism. Messages, just a messenger. For Capricorns today, please, what would you like to tell Capricorns? Thank you. What messages, what golden messages do you have for Capricorns about this reading? Thank you. What would you like to say to Capricorns, please? Okay. I don't know. There's a card. Okay. Messages for Capricorns today. What messages do you have for the sign of Capricorns? Anything else? Thank you. Seven of Pentacles. You know, the Seven of Pentacles. Ah, there you are, Capricorns, the Queen of Earth. Okay, I see. I got a card over here. There we are, right? Okay. This is you. This is your minor arcana, the Queen of Earth. Hard work, diligence, climbing the ladder, knowing what you deserve, holding on tightly to it, not just giving pieces of yourself away because you worked hard for what you have. The King of Pentacles, using your resources wisely. Everything is here for you to be a success in everything in life. Be the visionary. Look above the clouds. Stay in your truth and integrity about certain situations. But the King of Swords is the King of Wisdom, Objectivity, Truth, Honesty. Certain lessons you've been through to teach you something about your own inner self, your own inner child. I feel that there's a part of yourself that you've forgotten and it's your inner child and spirit guides are telling me that you've learned a lot of valuable lessons about yourself capricorns that hermit that's that's a lot of hard lessons but spirit guides are telling me that you've grown you've evolved because these are all major court cards and i feel spirit guides are just saying that everything is all about your inner child and putting the work into certain situations and nurturing it the right way this is about investing wisely having patience, getting ready for your next and new endeavors. Okay, Three of Cups, everything wants to come together for you in the Tree of Love and Life, Capricorns, but it's love energy, and three is the first number of our, all our manifestations, Three Cups of Love. Another three, heartache and pain. Wow. Your perspective, the hanging man. I, I, I'm just a messenger. And this is resonating to me on an emotional level, you guys. Uh, my perspective as an emotional Capricorn, because you're my moon, has been teaching me that everything is coming together for me in the tree of love and life. That there's always things in our life that go wrong and hurt us. 
But it's time to release yourself from something that you've been holding on to, changing your perspective, and dare to be different. Embrace the things with love. Embrace the people with love. Embrace the things you do love and let go of whatever you've been through that was a hell of a journey. Ace of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Five of Cups, and the choice is really yours, the Seven of Cups. I'm just going to relay the message. Stubborn, blocked energy, holding on tight to things, holding on tight to our money, holding on tight to a part of ourselves that we just don't want to change. Five of Cups. Oh, that junkyard of emotion. I've been down there. It hurt. I don't think anything is possible again. Well, I'm just going to say with the Ace of Wands sideways and the Six of Wands, this is all fire energy. That everything that you want for victories is all about your own creativity and your inspiration. That if you want new things in your life, go after it. Everything is waiting there for a victory. You know, everybody's so afraid of fear or so afraid of something won't work out and we're going to look foolish or so afraid of that. Well, I did that before and I got hurt. You grew. You evolved. How are you going to know how things are going to work out until we go after something with a new way, a new heart, and a fresh outlook with inspiration? Because something is coming together for you for a lot of victories and a lot of new hot beginnings. Last card they gave me, though, was the Seven of Cups, meaning choose wisely. You know, the Seven of Cups are options and choices. You know, everything looks good or, well, I've chosen that before. That didn't work out great. But you know what? There's really one good cup in there. And you know which cup it is? It's the cup that we really want with our heart. And it's being true to thyself. That everything will flourish in the right way to make everything come together for you. That there's certain situations that you need to change your perspective on and what you've been through. And I feel spirit guides are saying, now's the time for you to nurture something new. Go after what you want in a new way. Everything is here for you to embrace. It's your inner child. That we all have this inner child we really do need to embrace. And I feel spirit guides are saying, your garden, your gate, your energy, it's your choice. Because something wants to come together for you in the tree of love and life. Reading closed. <laughs> you guys, that was beautiful. There was a lot of heavy messages, but they were beautiful messages. I'm going to get some angel cards now. It will tie this reading together for all my beautiful Capricorns. Uh, the Six of Michael is under the deck. I'm going to read it and I'll shuffle. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans relocation or travel relocation or travel with yourself with your life with your energy spirit guides i'd love some angel cards from the master angels please master angels for capricorns today i would love three to four cards about this reading what would you like to say to capricorns today please what other angel messages do you have thank you one more perhaps Okay, I got enough. The Six of Michael is under the deck. Um, did I not shuffle? I'm pretty sure I shuffled, and I'm pretty sure I cut him, but I'll rewatch it because Angel Michael is here again, and this is what Angel Michael has to say to you. It's the light at the end of the tunnel, Capricorns. You can breathe a sigh of relief and start making new plans, relocation or travel. Peace. Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Let go and let God. Let go and trust. Let go and believe. You're being guided in a new direction. The two of Michael is here. Angel Michael has given you the two. It will all be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. We all must bend a little. Got another two. Two of Gabriel. A lot of twos here, Capricorns. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. Compromise. Great progress is possible. Angel Michael has given you the four. Insights that come from quiet meditation. The need for more sleep or time off. Seek relief from stress. Find a quiet space. Find a quiet place. Get some grounding energy. 
you will have your answer. They gave you your cornucopia, the nine of Raphael. Angel Raphael is giving you a nine. Make a wish. Dreams do become reality. A joyful time of life. Wow, Capricorns. Focus on your magic lamp. Focus on the things you want, Capricorns. Put your love into it. Put your energy into it. Last card they gave you. Oh, they gave you two more. Holy mackerel. You got an ace and a ten. The ace of Michael. And this is what Angel Michael has to say to you. It's not a coincidence. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Speak your truth. You know, speak it from the heart. Speak it from your inner core, you know, to a higher self and watch where it leads you. Because the last card they gave you is the wheel. We all want the wheel. I'm telling me everything is aligning for you. New beginnings, end of delays. A change in direction that offers happiness. Your reading today touched my heart and there was a lot of beautiful messages in there for you today Capricorns. Um, I'm gonna rewatch it and soak it up so thank you for viewing me you guys and thank you for your love and support. Beautiful reading today a little heavy but it was beautiful. I'm rolling into love crossing. <laughs> yes. So if you guys are in happy unions, just not dealing with anyone at the moment, you never know when love is going to come walking through your door. Keep envisioning what you want, if that's what you want. Keep envisioning it. Keep feeling it with optimism. You will attract it. All right, you guys. Uh, love crossing, difficult energy. So if you're not dealing with anyone or harmonious unions, you are in. The love crossing is for difficult. Have a blessed day. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing next few weeks. And I will see you next time. Thank you. For the uh, Capricorns out there dealing with somebody, I'm going to grab one deck. Now, I made that 26 second video the other day. It was fun. It was my inner child because love is the greatest teacher of all. Do you know why two people are always connected to each other in such a strong way? Because they both have lessons to learn from each other. Knight of Earth, the star. Somebody wants to heal something with you and the Knight of Earth is a very structure slow energy. Somebody wants to rebuild something with you. Four of Swords, I have my Capricorn energy and things have been feeling like a complete weight between the two of you. Because they feel you two are destined and they feel that you are their one. But they got a lot of emotional disappointments here. All right, I'm gonna stop there. I'll let them play out now. Uh, I just feel somebody here feels something between the two of you has felt like it's been a toxic give and take situation. I feel that somebody here wants to find a place of renewal and hope of faith again and they just keep dwelling on what's going wrong instead of looking at everything will be okay. I feel this person dwells more on the negative than they do the positive. And if you're the cross watcher, these energies can be moved around. I don't take sides, but I just feel that. Love crossing. Talk about the love crossing Capricorns. Mm. I'll take it. I've been dealing with, what would you like to show me? Love. Strongest crossing. Anything for the sign of Capricorns. Strongest love crossing. It's like you yelled at me. The lovers, Capricorns. The Six of Cups, Capricorns. A golden new beginning with the Fool. Oh, Capricorns. Ah, oh, what am I feeling here? Somebody just feels that you are their, their life partner. There's something here between you and this person that goes back many, many lifetimes. I was waiting for something. I said, there's something going on here. The tower, four swords. I'll put it together for you. The sun. Crossroads and words. Five of Swords. Somebody keeps replaying something here. 
this person's having a lot of wake-up calls right now about finding a resolution with you and I feel that they're taking a major time out and doing a lot of reflective work on something here between the two of you they realize that there's a part of themselves that needs to change if they want to get this with their Capricorns and they want to take a leap of faith they keep putting the they keep putting they keep looking at the work they put into something they have a lot of strength and courage feel somebody's determined to have a victory with you wounded energy I put I will and then oh yeah the card that I saw the moon you guys I just feel that whoever you're dealing with is so consumed with a lot of pain here and they're having a lot of revelations right now about realizing that if they want something to work out with their Capricorns they need to bend I feel that the wake-up calls they're having is putting them in a place of protecting themselves but at the same time this person knows that they have to get out of some barriers and it's with word manipulation meaning that I feel this person uses words to hurt you in some way to get a reaction from you but they're having a wake-up call right now realizing that they need to change their ways I feel whoever you're dealing with is in a big place of strength and courage determined to have a victory for a golden new opportunity with you a solid start I feel this person is really in a big place of just protecting their own fire energy right now the moon you know it's about someone who is very unsure about a lot of things in life but I'm just gonna say something to you with the lovers and the six of cups this person is going to do whatever it takes to make something here work with you because that's how much they love you but with the tower they're having a lot of wake-up moments about a part of themselves that needs to bend so give it time let's look at their intentions now because mercury retrogrades rolling in listen you guys we all have to i know a lot of you are probably yelling at me and tell me how bad they are and this and that i get it some people don't change some people never evolve that's why i leave them down that junkyard of wherever they're at but if this is somebody who is a beautiful person and they're doing the inner work right now they're realizing there's a part of themselves that they have to bend with if they want you back Eight of Wands, a lot of movement, a lot of motion, usually means communication. Seven of Pentacles, Wish Fulfillment, The Magician, Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, and The Sun. I feel somebody in the next few weeks is going to show you a little bit more about what they truly want from you, Capricorns. I just kind of feel that whoever you're dealing with has been stuck in a vicious cycle of their own perspective, their own way, and now they're willing to, to bend. I, I just feel that. They're very unsure about what the future holds, but you know what? This card is sticking to me like a magnet. Big Leo energy. They have a lot of strength and courage in believing that something here will work out. I just know they do, whoever this is. Love crossing intentions towards my Capricorn next few weeks. I think someone just wants to wipe the board clean with you. They want to start over with you, Capricorns. Love crossing intention towards Capricorns next few weeks. Strongest. What would you like to show me? Strongest love, crossing intentions. Towards the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. What would you like to show me? Huh? Anything else? I saw the way that card went flying. You know what card it was? It was the moon. <laughs> you guys, it's the fool. The fool wants to take a leap of faith. The fool wants to start over. It's the zero. Five of swords, five of cups, and the king of pentacles. Someone wants to prove something to you. They want to let something go to rebirth and something new with a fresh outlook. I feel somebody here wants to get past words, get past them emotional disappointments. This person's going to try to take a leap forward and start something from scratch. They want redemption for new beginnings. They're setting something into motion and they're getting ready to move forward with you. This person does not want to lose you. I'm telling you right now. Here comes the Hermit. Beautiful Virgo energy. The Moon. The Eight of Swords. The Four of Cups. And who's this? The Seven of Swords. Oh. Well, the Moon and the Hermit trumps it all. And I'm just going to say something to you. This person is doing a lot of inner work. I feel in the next few weeks, they may be a little distant but they're trying to figure something out that they feel their thoughts have over consumed them. I feel this person is getting ready to just tell you that, can we just wipe the past, the past? Can we just start fresh from something scratch? Can we find a compromise now? Angel Temperance, beautiful Sagittarius energy, four of wands, celebratory good times, and a passionate brand new beginning. I told you, 
next few weeks, somebody's going to explain to you that they want to let go of something from the past that's hurt you both. I feel this person has learned, has grown, has evolved, if they are of a higher consciousness. If this is somebody who never changed their spots and who never does any inner work and they feel that they're always in the right, then this person has not grown. But if this is a person that's showing you that I have, I admit I've been wrong, I, I've made some mistakes, then this person has done some inner work and they want to wipe the board clean and start something new with their Capricorns. What you do with it is up to you. You'll have free will and choices. Depending on what you want in life, you know, I, I just feel this person wants to wipe the board clean and start over. They want to make something work with you Capricorns. They want to get past the fence. Now, we're going to leave this reading here. Uh, energies are going to be shifting like the wind in the next few weeks. The retrograde is going to pull a lot of things at us. Take everything in stride. Keep your eyes in the sun and watch how things play out for you. All right, you guys. Thank you for viewing me today. Have a blessed day. An amazing next few weeks. Thank you for all your love and support. And I will see you all next time. Thank you.